Hello friends, in this video I'm sharing with you how to set up a mail server on Linux and how to forward the email you receive from your domain name to any email, for example Gmail or whatever. So what is it about? So for example you have your website and you have uh, an email attached to a website, here we are on markblursky.com and you have email with your domain uh, name which is markblurskai.com so for example here is mark at markblurskai.com it could be anything like contact at markblurskai.com or whatever uh, you can have multiple websites on the same uh, Apache server on the same web server it will work the same we will see how to configure in case you have like multiple uh, email uh, routed to the same server so the idea is that people are writing to you uh, on this email and you want to receive this email on your Gmail account so not on, on this uh, domain, uh, domain name but you want a forwarding of all the emails sent to this email to your Gmail account so how to set up uh, the mail server so that you achieve that uh, results so few things the first, the, um, the mail server that is installed by default on, uh, on Linux distribution, my Linux distribution is Ubuntu, is Postfix. But I think for any uh, Linux distribution it would be the same. There are other mail servers that you can use. Here I'm talking about Postfix, so you must install first Postfix if it's not already installed. And if it's installed, make sure that you uh, start it. So that's the way to, uh, to, to start it. So now we're going to check directly the server. So there is one thing that is very very important is to be able to launch the log, the log of the server and to have the log uh, in real time which means you need this command. So so when you, when you do that, then you can access the last uh, email log and if, if there is any email sent to this server and this server uh, uh, do a treatment of this request, then it will appear directly here in real time. So that's very, very, very important. That the most important thing is to, um, when you set up your server, to make sure that you can uh, read the logs so read the logs, the logs are here, uh, var uh, slash var slash log slash mail dot log, here are the logs. And we will come back on that a bit, a bit later. Another thing that is extremely important in order to every email uh, to hit your server is to have to have your DNS configured properly. So to get your DNS configured properly, then uh, here my, all my uh, websites are hosted on a Hostinger uh, well, not all of them but uh, the one I'm, I'm showing now uh, they are on Hostinger and you need to set up the DNS and set up the DNS is pretty simple but make sure that uh, because by default the configuration is wrong if I is wrong is not, uh, not correct yeah so you must have this line so here uh, you, have, you need to have the MX, which means like the email. Uh, so the email, so all email uh, sent to uh, markblorska.com, so it can be uh, mark arrobas markblorska.com or contact arrobas markblorska or any email that you may create for your user. I mean, every email with this domain will be routed to this server. So how does it work? You must have this MX only one MX line, very important because by default there are two others which are not useful. Then you must have this A arrobas with your IP address, this is the IP of your server, so Hostinger configure it uh, by default but otherwise you have to, to put it, this is a fixed IP address. And you need to have the C name of the WW with your domain name. So basically everything related to markblorsky.com are routed to this server including the email. That's how uh, I translate it. So you see it's not, it's not very complicated but make sure you don't have other, um, other, uh, other line, other entry in this, uh, in this DNS, uh, DNS records. Okay, so once, once that is done, when 
you need to configure postfix. So to configure postfix, there are there are few files that you must know. We are going to have a look. So this one is the most important important uh, file. So we're going to see this one. Open with nano. Okay, so uh, here I've not activated the TLS, even if I have already uh, activated the, 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 the TLS layer for the, for the domain, I've not activated uh, uh, it for the, for the email, but that's, that's pretty, uh, that's fine. I mean, uh, that's not a, a big problem. So what is important, uh, the, most, the big important thing is here, you keep my destination here. Uh, with local host, local domain, you don't put your domain name here. Very, very, very important. You keep the relay, the relay host, relay host uh, empty as well. That as well, you don't change. You keep it empty. You keep it the same. This is a default. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So, and then this is the important part. So here, in the virtual alias domain, you put all the domain name for which you want the server to, uh, to treat all emails. So basically all emails coming from markbloorsky.com will be handled by this server. All the emails coming from je declare, je -uh declare.com will be handled as well by this server. All emails coming from innocent or guilty.com will be handled by this email. All emails coming from objectif dash Ranta.com will be handled as well. So it means here we can handle as many as we want. It means you can have, as I have here, uh, I have four domains, four websites running on the same server, so uh, the Apache server, but also on the, the mail server, the postfix server, it can handle many, 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 many uh, an infinite number of uh, domain. Uh, of domain. Very important is the virtual alias maps. That's where we will set up the forwarding. So here you can see there is a hash, I will explain later, and there is the file, postfix slash etc slash postfix slash virtual. So basically that's the most important thing. You see that those two lines. If you start to set up other lines because like the my destination and, and, and other things, then it will just it will just, uh, it's another type of configuration and this will mm, corrupt. I mean, not corrupt, but it will not work. Um, yeah. So I escape and I'm going to show you now the virtual one. So you see this file slash etc slash virtual. So. So slash etc slash virtual, how does it work? It's very, very simple. You can, so the, 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 any email with the extension with the domain Mark Blue Sky will be routed, will be forwarded to my Gmail account. Same thing for jedeclare.com to my Gmail account. Innocent or guilty, I send to an other Gmail account. Here I put every email of the domain, but I could have put also like an email, like for example, uh, a specific email. For example, I put mark, this one I route to a Gmail. If we have another account, you can also set up everything as you want. So this is where you set up the forwarding if you want the forwarding. Once, so, once this is saved, actually you need to activate the, the hash map. Okay, the, so you need to do the post map, you need to set to, to, to run this command. Otherwise, it's not taken into consideration. Voilà. So this is run. Otherwise, you will see an, you will see an error. Um, that's it. So once this is done, every time you do it, you need to restart, restart the server. And when you restart the server, you will see in the log. Alors you see that here in the log that uh, I made a mistake here. I forgot the, the L. And then there was an error and you get the log. Okay. So now if I restart, maybe I can show you. 
So you have in the voilà. You see in the log that it's stopping the mail server, then it's terminating and it's going to start and it started again. So you can see here all the logs. That's very, very important. I mean, without that, I could not have been able to configure the, the server. So now the server is configured, is up and running, and we want to test it. Actually, there are two ways to test it. Me, I found two ways. The first, the first one, uh, which I'm not going to show you, but you can test email directly from the server by running mail. Oh, we can we, we we can we can do it actually we can do it. So you run, you're like that, okay. Mail minus s subject to test to, for example, mark arobas mark. Enter. This is the body of the email. Test message. Control D. And you see the reaction behind. You see that the mail has been received. And actually, you can see that the mail has been forwarded to my email here, which is gmail.com. So this is the first way, actually, to test it. You don't need to send email from outside of your server. You can send it directly from your uh, from your server now if you want to test it from uh, like to send an email i've prepared here so this is here i'm on a, another gmail account which is called innocent or guilty uh, com and then i'm going to send an email to to mark uh, blue or sky mark arrobas blue or sky test test message okay and i send and you see in the back uh, in the background there is a, the, the the log still running so we we should see something when the email will hit the server so i send it uh, it's not instantaneous because it's sent from gmail so it takes uh, usually it takes few seconds. Yes, you see, it's received, and then it's it's shown like who has sent. So this is this is my Gmail account that uh, where I send it from, and then you can see that it has been forwarded to Mark at uh, Mark at gmail.com. So it's sent from one Gmail account to the Mark Blower Sky uh, uh, domain. Then it's sent. It's forwarded. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, so that's pretty uh, that's pretty I mean uh, that, that's quite quite nice I mean to, to to have this kind of server set up because the possibility are really uh, infinite I mean you, you see you can you can handle uh, uh, as many domain name as you want uh, you can host like as many domain name as you want you can treat them the way you want if you want to forward you forward if you want to keep them on the um, on the Linux distribution and set up a pop or IMAP uh, 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 mail uh, hosting, you can do it as well. If you want to uh, to to do some special treatment, I don't know, like uh, every time you receive this kind of email, then let's do this kind of action. You can do that as well. So this is uh, this is really um, this is really really interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video, share if you uh, if you like it. If you have any question, put a question in comment. And otherwise, you can have a look at uh, my uh, my website. And uh, if you need some help on some topic, I wish you a very happy day. Bye bye.